Hello back and welcome to the workbench. This is Bill. I am so glad you're back with me today. I have two tools. One I want to fix because you saw what happened with the three jaw chuck. This, these things just kept popping off. Well, I had an idea because I happen to have one of these O-ring assortments. And uh, I think this trick might work. So let's do that first and then we'll get to one of my favorite subjects, hammers. Yeah, I know I'm weird. All right, so I got this thing, and we put it in there, and it just kept working its way out. So what I thought I'd do, and I think this works, is I got the smallest O-ring that's in the box. This guy, which is a 06 or P3. It's a 0.28 millimeter on the inside and 0.6 millimeter, or 6 yeah, 0.6 millimeter on the outside, I think. It's this one, the smallest one. 2.8 and 6.6. .6. Anyway, what I did or do is put that O-ring on there. Like that. And that will keep that in place and it won't come off. Isn't that a good idea? Wish I would have known that when I was making that video on the three-jaw chuck. Another thing you could do is pin these over a little bit so that they spread out on the top, and that'll keep that O-ring popping off. So there we go. Turn these uh, Pittsburgh tools into one more use. We shall see if these make it one more use, because they get one more chance. They can't. If they screw up again, throw them away. Next item up for bids is a hammer. You saw when I was doing the three jaw chuck, I was beating on it with my fantastic vintage bunty hammer, which I love, favorite hammer. But it's steel on steel and so that could nick it. So I put some tape on there. I held the part in my hand so that it wouldn't get too much stress on it. So I thought I'd go and get a brass hammer and a nylon ended hammer at the Harbor Freights. I don't like the way this looks. It looks, you know, Harbor Freighty. So let's redo this handle, shall we? Let's spend more money on wood stain than the whole hammer cost to make it look better. That's the American way, isn't it? Let me know if you've ever done that. I'm sure you have. All right, let's get out the old uh, screwdriver bit. already taken this thing apart once so I know how it comes apart you just unscrew the single Phillips head screw here in the head good thing this is not a high stress hammer and then this just comes right out like that also these parts here unscrew and inside is an o-ring give you a little bit more cushion so if you ever need to replace these ends you can do that uh, you'd have to, you'd have to uh, find them or get yourself a lathe and make them. All right, let's clean this up. I've got some 200 and some grit sandpaper here. I want to get rid of the finish. Is that going to work? I might need a little bit more grit. All right, well, you know how to sand this stuff off. I'll let you figure that out and do it on your own if you're going to do it. It looks like that's coming off with the 240. So uh, I'll uh, pause the video and uh, pick it back up where I'm done sanding this hammer handle. All right, I am back after doing the sanding. I sanded at uh, 120, 220, and then I think 220. No, 240. Sand it at 150, 240, and then 320. This ought to be good enough. I don't see any shiny spots anymore. I think we are ready to stain this. Now, I don't want to stain the workbench quite yet because I don't know what this color is going to look like. But this is pretty close to the workbench color it is now. So this is going to be a good test to see if I want to stain the workbench this color because I have a lot of this color. It is golden oak. We'll put down the plastic bag from the non-sponsored place. And then this blue thing to cover it up. There we go. 
this on there, there, there. This is it. Wow, it's like a paint. It's a little thick, a little thick. That's all right, we'll see what it looks like. You only live twice, right? Oh yeah, that's good. It's like golden oak. Channeling my inner Thomas Johnson. All right, I dabbed that in there quite a bit. I'm going to let it sit for a long time. A little while. Not a long time, but a little while. Every tool's a hammer. Well, this video has been a fluster since the beginning. Well, not since the beginning. Since uh, staining. The staining, it didn't quite turn out the way I wanted it to. I kind of liked it really dark. But, hey, it is what it is. And then I lost the footage. And so we're at this point. So let's put it back together and call it a video. I think it's just as important to show you the failures as it is the successes. Because I don't do everything right the first time. I'm sure you don't either. In fact, I probably will need to epoxy this thing back together. But we'll see how it lasts. If it falls off or gets loose, I'll know what to do to fix it. So there's that. There's the hammer. So in this great video, we looked at those pliers, we looked at those pliers, and uh, we tried to make a hammer look better. I think it looks a little better, but it's not quite what I envisioned. Oh well, we'll go from there. I will see you in the next video when we uh, take apart the, the Unimet uh, headstock and get that all cleaned up and see it's right there ready for me to work on. Subscribe, do all those things you're supposed to do.